It's the Atlanta Grubber Podcast with surefire restaurant reviews from throughout the Atlanta metropolitan area. Hosted by Joe Duffy, there is a special focus on his home chomping grounds of Alpharetta and Roswell. You can follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at Atlanta Grubber and on atlantagrubber.com. Without further ado, here is your infallible restaurant whisperer, Joe Duffy. Episode one of the Atlanta Grubber podcast, and I am going to throw a curveball here. Yes, it is true, about 85 to 90% of my eating is in my home chomping grounds of Alpharetta and Roswell as the eats around here have skyrocketed the last 10 years or so. But the first place I'm going to feature is going to be ITP, Fred's Meat and Breads. They're at 99 Crog Street, just barely off of the Beltline, a Duffy favorite. The Duffies have really gotten into the uh, Beltline, at least we did before the plague hit. Now, Fred's Meat and Breads, it's owned by prominent chef Todd Ginsburg. You may know him from places such as the General Muir, Yala. Yala. All right, then. Uh, West Egg, Wood Chapel Barbecue. Hopefully I pronounced those correctly. Now, Fred's is actually named after Fred Krog, whom the street, and by extension, Krog Street Market, are named after. They're known for their sandwiches such as cheesesteaks and burgers. How about bringing me a hamburger for Fred here? I'm getting to worry about him. He's looking a little thin in the skin. I'm originally from the Philadelphia suburbs, and so many of my food snob connections had said, have you had the cheesesteak yet at Fred's? Admittedly, it did take me a couple years, but I've been a billion times since. Now, such luminaries as Steak Shapiro and Alton Brown have claimed that it's an even better cheesesteak than you can get anywhere in Philadelphia. Is it truly better than, say, the original Tony Luke's or Chick's Deli? Well, maybe that's overhyping it just a little bit still. Bottom line, without any question, one of the top two cheesesteaks in the Atlanta metropolitan area. I think Big Dave's, ever since he upgraded the grass-fed meat a couple years ago, is my favorite. And I've been going there since it was in a gas station, had a slightly different name. Anyway, back to the Fred's cheesesteak. A lot heavier on the spices than you're going to get in Philadelphia, but on the homemade roll, again, spectacular cheesesteak. A little bit, a little bit on the generous side if you want to say it's better than any you're going to get in Philadelphia. That's just simply not true. However, my A number one item at Fred's Meat and Breads is probably the Italian grinder, although there's a lot of other tremendous stuff. Salami, mortadella, pork, interesting, and provolone. And hey folks, I grew up on hoagies and the difference between things like hoagies and grinders and submarines and po'boys, it's a lot more than just the name. For example, the grinder is hot, where hoagies, which I grew up on, were cold. But still, this Italian grinder is a tremendous sandwich. They also have a great burger. A friend of mine, follow him on Twitter at at DrewHill29, but Andrew Hill He's well-traveled. He's had burgers all over the U.S., and he told me he thinks the Fred Burger is as good as any in the United States, and that's a pretty reasonable statement. Bottom line, how do they rank among my favorite cheeseburgers? In the entire Atlanta metropolitan area, there are just so many. I mean so many, including in my home chomping grounds, but if I had a single out of top three, they would without question be among them, along with Billy's Slash NFA, they were called Billy's before they had a brick-and-mortar location. They're now in Dunwoody called NFA Burgers, same place. And then the world-famous Holman and Finch. Now, on the Fred's menu, it looks like there's no longer a pimento cheese club. It's essentially been replaced by Korean fried chicken. But, of course, like any good restaurant, it could return. A lot of top restaurants like to rotate their menu a little bit. Haven't had the Korean fried chicken yet. The Pimento Cheese Club is fantastic. It was one of my son's favorite sandwiches until he became a vegetarian. But their Pimento Cheese is very good. High quality bacon. Gotta try that Korean fried chicken next trip. I've had their Oyster Po' Boy. But again, as I look online, looks like it's been replaced by a Catfish Po' Boy. Ah, yes. We've got to talk about the pommes frites. Pommes frites. Oh, for crying out loud, French fries. Pommes frites. My wife adores these French fries, and I do too. When they execute it perfectly, 
They're fairly thick. They have a crispy outside and a very soft inside. The texture on these things, I don't know if I've ever experienced anything like it before. And with Oak Street Cafe in Roswell long closed, it's quite possible that my favorite fries, and as I said, maybe even my favorite burger, are now at Fred's Meat and Breads. They are fantastic. The wife prefers the garlic ones, the garlic sauce. She adores, and she's had more than her share of garlic sauces over the years. I see they also added Old Bay fries. I guess these are kind of like the crab fries at Chicky and Pete's in Philadelphia, where they call them crab fries, even though they just use crab seasoning anyway. You will not find better French fries than at Fred's. I've also had the roasted turkey. Very good sandwich. It's got avocado on it, and avocado just seems to go perfectly with poultry. Most of my favorite chicken sandwiches, and now in this case turkey sandwiches, come with some avocado on it. But everything that Fred's does is tremendous. Basically, the conclusion... Look, I love the General Muir, their sister restaurant, and why I was very excited when I heard that the General Muir was coming to City Springs, which is a lot closer to me than any of Todd's other restaurants. I got a little greedy. I said I'd rather Fred's come to City Springs, and who knows? I would love for the third location of Fred's, or I guess it would be a second location since the second location is gone, but I would love for another location of Fred's to open even closer to me this is one of the top grubberies in Atlanta. As I said, here on Atlanta Grubber, it's all about the food. An absolute must stop when you visit the Beltline in Atlanta. Fred's is one of the top restaurants in Atlanta. Now to sound bites with news, notes, and quick hitters on Atlanta area restaurants. Now before I get to my quick and dirty tips, Please visit one of our sponsors, Duffy Scents. That's as in the smell, S-C-E-N-T-S. That's where I get my allowance from. My wife owns this business, and if you can send her some great business, she can increase my allowance, and I can do even more research for you. She's a distributor for Scentsy. I particularly love the warmers and wax. In fact, I got them burning in my office all the time. Uh, some of my favorites are vanilla buttercream, cinnamon bear, and right now I have warming an apple and oats. And they don't really call themselves aromatherapy. In fact, they don't promote themselves as aromatherapy at all. I don't know if it's a placebo or if it's scientific, but it really, truly, honestly relaxes me, some of these scents. But all kinds of great stuff there. DuffyScents.com And now to some quick hitters. I talked about how I had loved the Fred's at the Canteen by Georgia Tech. In fact, probably 10 of the first 11 times I went to Fred was at the Georgia Tech location. Look, I'm a big fan of Georgia Tech baseball. I think it is the single best bargain in entertainment in the entire city. If it's, uh, when it, especially if you're a sports fan, I used to go before and frankly sometimes before and after their game. So I was heartbroken when they closed. However, it looks like another second location may be my favorite place near Georgia Tech baseball. Aviva by Camiel. Mediterranean food. I had heard about this place for a while. When you're talking about places like BuzzFeed, and I think they use their algorithm algorithms from Yelp, it's usually rated right the top restaurant in all of Atlanta of any kind. Now, again, it's a very casual place. The original location and the one that I tried was at the mall at Peachtree Center Food Court. Um, I had jury duty on February 4th of 2020. The judge says, look, you got a two hour break. It's about a mile and a, qu a quarter, maybe a mile and a half walk from the uh, court uh, down in, uh, in the heart of Fulton County. They opened up a second location at the Collective Dakota, not too far from Georgia Tech, but I was really impressed by the lamb Kafka, uh, the cabbage and the cream spinach. Look. I am a hardcore carnivore, but the vegetables were tremendous. Best cream spinach I had ever had. So, probably my next trip down to Rush Chandler Stadium, a.k.a. the Rusty Sea, I will go to Aviva by Camiel. Great, great place. Some other places by Georgia Tech, of course, I've been to the original Antico many times. And usually on the way home, I pick up a family thing of chicken from Gio's Chicken about Fiatano and Sublime Donuts, some of the other tremendous places to eat by the North Avenue Trade School. <laughs> more 
curveballs. Let's get a little closer to my home chomping grounds. Empanadas and Pastries by Bellin de la Cruz in Johns Creek at 11, 730 Jones Bridge Road. Now, when I first had these empanadas, I had two reactions. Holy crap, these are ridiculously good. I mean, world class. But I wondered, are they possibly too niche? And then COVID hit, and I'm like, oh, man, she opened up this spectacular eatery, but it's kind of niche. And how do you spread the word why the economy is collapsing, but apparently word has spread. She announced she's opening another location in Cobb County. Now, I do want to say these are Venezuelan empanadas, and I'm one of these grubbers who, I don't know if I'm an expert where I could tell you exactly the difference between, say, Venezuelan and Cuban, but definitely in the dough. Now, it's appropriate that she does have some pastries, Belle and De La Cruz, because part of the magic is in the dough. It reminds me a little bit more of Stromboli dough that I've had in uh, some cases. Either way, if you've ever had better empanadas, and especially in the Atlanta area, I'm not kidding. Send me an email, Joe Duffy at joeduffy.net. I actually want your emails anyway for feedback and recommendations, etc. But these are as good of empanadas as you've ever had. And look, if you've traveled the world and told me you had them all over the world, I will still stake my pristine reputation. These are as good as you're ever going to get. Run. Do not walk there. Again, it's just a little shop, mostly takeout, some pastries, but the empanadas are absurd. Bellin de la Cruz on Jones Bridge Road in Johns Creek. Episode 2, the feature eatery, will be a place a little closer to me, Mitch's Meats and Fish in Roswell, Georgia. Mitch was a real star. Oh, Mitch is still a star. A big, big, big star. Join us for Episode 2. DuffyGifts.com offers the finest My31 gifts, such as purses, jewelry, organizers, storage bins, and so much more. These gifts are perfect for graduates, weddings, and any occasion, whether it's for him or for her. For the most thoughtful gifts, check out Stephanie Duffy at DuffyGifts.com.